consistent on what we're working with. But they did bring it back. Well, he actually, we never got a real first look at him in Endgame. Oh, D2. yeah. Okay. But, like, we saw him in D1, right? We knew about him in D1. Oh, okay. We yeah. never got to see him in D1. Oh. Eh, yeah, same difference. <laughs> I was hitting the Kappa. Stupid Kappa. It's a bloody drill. These are pretty cool. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Actually. Do I want the switch? No. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I got I got a question. Oh, that's cool. You can actually zoom in this way. Oh nice. That's cool. Oh, and it even shows like your zoom in. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, so I was gonna ask, who is your favorite Pokemon trainer slash champion, or both? Whatever, whatever you feel. From any gen, from any whatever. Anime or? I said from either one. Or video game. <laughs> uh, it could be the video game if you want. I don't like any. <gasps> what? Uh, Are we talking champions too? Yes, I said both. Trainer, champion, I whatever. To you, so. <laughs> I see how it is. I'm over here asking um, you a question. I mean, Cynthia's pretty cool. Right. I'm excited to see the Leon fight versus Ash. Oh, me too. I really, wait, I mean, the only reason I know that is because, well, I, one, it's Pokemon, so you can easily see what, where the story's going. Right. And two, they spoil it on their own. Uh, Twitter and stuff too. I mean, I already knew it was gonna happen, but yes, it also got spoiled. But it just—it should be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Right. What about like from when you were younger? What which, which um, trainers or I guess gym leader slash uh, champion did you like from any game? I mean, Bruno was pretty cool from the Elite Four. Right. And then Lance was pretty cool. With his shiny Gyarados. That's true. He did have shiny Gyarados. Right. And then... I'm honestly just curious, is why I'm asking. I mean, you know, most people like Red. Yeah, Red is cool. I also like Red. I don't have headsets on, so that wasn't on. You could put it on if you want. Okay. Um, but I was mainly just curious. What would you say? My favorite trainer slash champion slash gym whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, so to me, let's see. I don't like Iris that much. If I if you ask me who I didn't like, I would say Iris. Um I'm just kinda going through my the ones in my head. Um Cynthia of course is really strong. Cynthia is. I mean like she's the most notorious. Oh shoot. I didn't realize that most infamous for her guard chomp with Earthquake. Um for me I didn't play any of the original games because I didn't know they existed. I know. It's like, how do you say that? Well, here's my thing. I didn't see any commercials for it. And I, when I went to, you know, the stores and stuff, like, where they sell the cards and stuff, I never had any interest in that. Um, I was more interested in, like, the Powerpuff Girls. I liked, 
you know, some other shows like Teen Titans and the Batman the Animated Series. Um, I was more into that kind of stuff. Um, there were some other shows that I watched like Danny Phantom and Fairly Odd Parents. You know, I was like, especially when I was younger, I thought they were cool shows and stuff. Codename Kids Next Door. Of course, gotta love that one. Um, what's another one? Um, there's some other ones that I'm kind of leaving out. Um, I hate this. Oh, me too. This vault, things can get crazy really quick. So you were the one that taught me about all the the gym trainers and stuff like that, and the champions and stuff like that. You're the one that introduced me to all of them, because the only one I knew of was. Agatha and Lieutenant Surge and you know the, from the original anime um but I like Lieutenant Surge I thought I thought he was pretty cool and pretty strong um so if you ask me to give you a not basic answer I would say Lieutenant Surge slash red because red is pretty he's pretty cool Lieutenant Surge is a bully though <laughs> he is but I'm just saying in terms of strength like he was strong. And I just thought he was, I thought it was cool. And at the time, I didn't know what Raichu was. <laughs> didn't know anything about that, really. Until uh, we rewatched the, the series and I watched a lot of the episodes I didn't see before. For me, I'm, I still trip out. I'm like, man, how did I not see the games for sale at, at the different stores and stuff? I guess I just never thought to go down the game aisles and stuff like that. Like, I never thought of it because I was oh, more I interested in some other things. But, yeah, that's how I didn't know that Pokemon stuff existed besides the show. Like, I honestly did not think they d they made a game about it. I didn't think they made a card set. It didn't even cross my mind. But I was also a kid, so <laughs> I deserve a little bit of um, a break there. Yes, I do. Yeah. Because, like, I watched, like, Beyblades, and I watched, you know... Pokemon, I watched so did I. Digimon a little bit, um, oh, but I, I was... The, we watched the YouTube videos here. I... Oh, shoot. we seen it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It was a clip from... It was a throwback. Uh-huh. To something that Twitch has never seen before. Right. And it was called Metabot. Oh, yeah. Who remembers Metabots? Probably nobody. Raise your hand in the comments. Uh, One-off series. <laughs> it was... It's pretty cool. The, the robots that you, like, take apart and stuff like that. And you can, like, customize them and put stickers on them and stuff like that. They... Some of them were bigger. And then the, some of them were came in, like, a smaller package. <laughs> and they were... What do you think? Came with little cards. Three dashes? Mm-hmm. Or, after swapping weapons, replenish the magazine instantly and 30 plus 30% 30 lucky shot chance. The fast one. Fast loader. That's one. Three dashes is pretty nice, but... Right. Right. Um, so I should be able to go like that. I kind of forgot what I was talking about. You were talking about Metabot. Oh, yeah. So I was just kind of giving the description based on watching the video and you telling me about it. What was the one that you liked? It was the, the black... Cyan mm -hmm. Dog. Yeah, Cyan Dog. Like something like that. Anyway, <laughs> he was showing me that and I'd never heard of it, never seen it, not mm, anything. And I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the stuff I liked, I liked the tech decks. <laughs> I got into those like elementary school and <laughs> I don't know a single person who did like That's true. That's true. Well, you don't you don't really see girls with that kind of stuff very often. It was pretty rare. 
but I brought him with me to school and stuff. Can I tell a story about one time a kid took my tech deck? So it was like fifth grade and there was this kid, he was, he looked older than all the rest of the kids, I don't know. Anyway, he'd pick on people sometimes and stuff. He, I don't know if you would, cons I don't know if he was like considered a bully, kind, yeah, I guess kinda. Anyway, um, so I brought my tech decks to school and I was playing with them on my desk and it was time for race recess and so I put so in the old desks that we used to sit in had like a little cubby on the inside of the desk that was metal where you could put your folders on the top part and then they had like a separating part and then a bigger part for your books and etc so I put my little tech decks where the smaller slot was and so I go inside to play normal day and when I came back inside he was already sitting at his desk and when I looked down I noticed he was playing with a tech deck and I was like oh that's cool I guess he likes tech decks too so I looked down and he flipped it with his fingers and the bottom I was like that's my tech deck that's mine because it had the same scratches same everything and so I go to my desk to check it out like maybe I'm just going crazy yeah, and I mean, tech decks they were cool but they were all like you know the store getting one new ones in and everybody got the new ones yeah but it was exactly like mine I know. and I'm okay so I go back to my desk and I check out the top Oh, nice the scalpel. I check out the little top slot where my tech deck was and it was gone. Mm -hmm. So I was just like he took my tech deck from my from my desk. And so it kind it didn't surprise me, but I was like, okay, next recess, I'm going to go steal it back. So I did. <laughs> and here's where it got a little toxic. So I went to his desk because I was like one of the last people to leave the classroom. And he had like another tech deck along with mine. And so I took his, <laughs> his other one? yeah, I took it. I was like, you know what? He, since he took my tech deck, I'm gonna take yours along with mine. And I stored it like way behind my folders and my books and stuff like that on the, the lower part. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna let him do that again. And sure enough, by the time it was in the end of the day, they were still there. And so I brought them home. <laughs> Fun story for Twitch. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> you learn stuff about me every day, I guess. <laughs> or every time I make a video, I always got something new to say, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I have some other stories too, but you know, we'll try to keep them lighthearted. A little bit. <laughs> Nothing too personal, of course. Because, you know, I can't name names or anything like that, you know. Privacy and all that stuff, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was my tale in school. Do you have any funny stories to tell right now? Or what do you think? think if I should buy the scalpel or not. Yes. It's not a very good roll, but... It's a scalpel. It doesn't matter. You could always upgrade the the damage. You should do it. I mean, that one's just so good. That's a good fire scale. Do love me scalp. Right. Alright. Trying to think of what else I could talk about. Um, new avatar, potentially. Oh Earth yeah. Kingdom avatar. Yes. Okay, so 
it's a little unfortunate because that would mean Korra is dead. Big sad. Um, you know, F's in the chat for Korra. We don't know how she died or anything like that yet. We're only assuming that's what happened. We, we don't know that for sure, right? Well, maybe she maybe she found a way to give the power. You know what I mean? No, maybe. I'm just saying it might be possible because she was like the most like in touch with the spirit realm and stuff like that. And so was Aang, but like she found a way and all that to merge the spirit realm and the real world. Anyway, um, won't get into that too much because that's a whole thing. Um, to me, I'm like, that's pretty cool. But oh, no. yeah, you died. You died fast enough. You So here's another hot take with Twitch the Bay. Oh, hey, that kind of rhymes. Oh, I have um, a lot of damage. So here's a hot take. Um, so, so if you remember Toph from the original Avatar The Last Air Airbender series, she was a really cool, strong character, right? She came from the Earth Kingdom, and she's the one that taught Aang how to earthbend. Now, here's my thing. She was the one who invented... Oh, here's the thing you were talking about. Prism. Sorry. Oh, Prism. She was really strong, um... And she was the one who invented the metal bending. Um, like, she did it first, and then she taught a whole other little city how to do it. Now, here's my thing. At the time of when she learned how to metal bend, it did not exist at all. Not even a little bit. Like, she was the one who figured it out and did it first. And then taught other people. Well, her kids. Anyway. Um, to me, it's like, how how do you top that? How do you top somebody who... How do you top top? Yes. She's the greatest... She made her earth, own. She's the greatest earthbender ever. And we gotta know it. <laughs> interesting to see how right it's like how how is this character going to outdo that and to me like you would think that maybe this avatar this earthbender avatar could do something cool you know what i mean because ang he found a way to not take someone's life um uh, fire lord ozai's life you know at the Whoa. end spoils <laughs> It's been out for a long time, so I think it should be fine. Um, but he was the one that figured it out when all the other avatars were telling him, like, literally kill him. Like, what are you doing? And he's like, no, nah, fuck that. Um, so he figured out a way and take, took his, air, his bending away. Um, and then Korra, she found, like I said, she found a way to merge the real world with the spirit realm and have the portal and all that stuff um she lost her powers and then got them back so she's a pretty strong person she's pretty strong um so to me it's like what's this new earthbender gonna come to the table with all right welcome to my ted talk <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot to say, I guess. <laughs> oh, and also the live action Avatar. They're working on the lot, apparently. That's a completely different thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's a whole different That's thing. Netflix. I know, but it's still cool, though. Like, I don't know. Like, the, some of the casting stuff, it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. That kind of makes sense. And how they got the cabbage guy, the same voice actor. <laughs> Like, nice. Nice, nice. So, I might check it out. You know. But, like, if it's terrible, I might not. Like, if they ruin it just as bad as they did the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, we're repeating the same mistakes again. Okay, turn it off. <laughs> I'd say give, like, the movie to at least the halfway point. Or, not the... 
the movie, the show, or whatever it is, the Netflix special, give it till halfway and then if it's no good just be like, alright, I'm done. So they're working on a lot of Avatar stuff, so. So I kind of already saw a spoil for the other Avatar, the blue Avatar people. <laughs> Do you want to know what other clan they're going to go to next or no? Slug fire. Yes. That's just, that's the just fire just Navi. Expect. Like that's just subject. I don't know. If that's but it's like they're, they're copying the other Avatar because it was water and then it was land, was I guess. the original Avatar, like tree, jungles? Mm, Earth, maybe. Earth, I don't, I don't know. I found it kind of funny though. I was just like, they are copying it a little bit. <laughs> right. I'm like, yeah, that's fine though. It's all jokes here, but we won't know the plot of the movie yet. So, I mean, I still think that's pretty cool. It's going to be a long time before we get the other one though, because how long was it that we didn't even get the second one? I saw a thing for what the movie or for the animation. Um, no, the Avatar Blue People. Oh. The first one. It was like 10 years or something like that. Let me see. Okay, so the first one came out in 2009. <laughs> and then the new one came out 2022. That's a pretty good amount of time. Oh, no. So it was 13 years. <laughs> that was a long ass time. That's a really long time. That was a long time. Yep. I always think back to those years, I'm like, man, that feels like that was like yesterday but also so long ago I don't know I guess that kind of shows my age a little bit <laughs> when you start feeling that way what were you doing in 2009? <laughs> I was a sophomore in high school <laughs> no I wasn't I was a junior in high school wait 2009? Mm -hmm. I was in between sophomore and junior nice I don't remember because I was 2008 and I was a sophomore. Get out of here, dude. I, 2009, I was. I remember, was it? Eighth grade. I was eighth grade. I got held back a year, so. It's all good, though. I'm not ashamed of it. I think it's funny. So I would have graduated 2013, but 2014 for me. And yours was 2000. I was gonna say it. I was actually gonna you say didn't that. Remember. I did remember. You had no idea. You would have just taken a random guess. I was actually going to say that. I was there for it, so I should know. Yes, I was there for it. Oh no, this one's going to be the annoying lobsters. lobsters. I'm just thinking about editing this video. Uh, it's gonna take so long. It's gonna be easy because this is gonna be just a long video of a W. It's true. Or I die at the final boss. You go here, Roadhog. Where you going? <laughs> Shark Hog. Oh, that's a good one. Shark Shark Hog. Shark -hog. <laughs> Definitely.
false mate. Oh yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah. That's the hardest one, right? No, but he's annoying because he just fills the entire area with his forces. But thankfully... The scalpel. Broke... <laughs> yep. Oh, this is the new, like, scalpel kind of thing. Cool. Oh. So it's a little bit slower. That's cool, though. But it shoots lightning bolts. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And then a bone. Bone dragon. Baby dragon. Baby. Baby dragon. Joey was such a dumb character. <laughs> he was just dumb the whole time and I respected him that he was trying to save his sister and stuff and he was trying to raise the money for her and stuff. I was like, oh that's cool. But it's like that accent though, like it just it just sounds so fake to me. Like the fewer bullets remaining in the magazine, the higher the weapon damage, up to 75%. Or, negative 30 damage taken for 3 seconds upon taking damage. Hmm. What Let's was that? With that DP oh, best. I was going to say, what was that called again? It's called PPP. Oh. <laughs> Got it. I don't remember if I have one more level or if this is the boss. Um. This oh, this is, is the, the boss. boss. Big pirate ship fish guy. This one's pretty cool, but I kind of wish you could go like on board and stuff, and then go fight the people on on the ship. You know, that'd be pretty cool. We should reforge it in. I don't want to reforge. Because it'll take away my that thing. Oh. Oh no, it doesn't. It just takes away my Gemini thing. I don't even have Gemini. Sure, fine, I'll reforge. I don't I'm not sure. Achievement just for fun. Nice. <laughs> just for fun, basically. Yeah. You had the money right. and it's not this like you can use the money after this. This is boss. hard. This part is so hard. Especially if you're doing it by yourself. It's really hard. As you'll see. It's hard with team because it's health That's doubles true. every time you, more people play. You That's play true. up to four people. That's true. And then it gets tanky. Especially yep. if somebody's lacking behind. Yeah. Or somebody didn't have like the right like buffs and stuff like that. Like they just got screwed on their scrolls too. This sucks, for sure. This part is where it gets hard too, when it's immune and then you have to hide, <laughs> basically. And then they have the other ads that spawn. Look at you doing all those damage numbers. And you haven't had to revive yet, huh? No. That's toxic. Nice. Halfway there. Now the real challenge starts. Yo. Yeah. Thought that cannon fire was annoying. Oh, now it gets real annoying.
keep spawning over there. Huh. Almost there. Ow. Let's go. Let's go. Easy. GG's. Oh. GG's. And that's how nice. you gunfire reborn. And stuff rains oh. on you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that plus ten crimson fire that what we did they, didn't get a chance to use. Like, what did they used to say oh, in the? Phantom skin, that's pretty good. What did they used to say in Achievement Hunter? It's raining gobs or something. Raining gobs. Raining gobs. Shout out to Achievement Hunter. Well, old Achievement Hunter, not this None one. None of that matters. What was this? A wheel saw. That's the one I was using. Oh, what is this? What is that? Enter next scene. Is there new stuff now? Is there new? Or go back to the end. Oh. Mm -hmm. Man, we're already in, I'm already an hour and 18 minutes in this run. Try it. What is this bear? I don't know. Chat, this is unprecedented area. Oh.